Hey everybody, CatSynth TV, and today we are looking at the Prophet V3, another instrument in Arturia's V collection. The Prophet V is actually two instruments in one. First, there is a recreation of the legendary sequential circuits Prophet 5, including an interface with the wood finish and knobs of the original. Then there is a reimagining of the Prophet VS, combining the look and feel of the original, including its joystick control, with a modern display interface for advanced features. There is even a combined mode that allows one to use features of both the Prophet 5 and VS together in unique ways. In Prophet 5 mode, each of the five voices has two oscillators and a low-pass filter. They are tuned to recreate the familiar and iconic sound of the original. One of the unique features of the Prophet 5 is its polymod section. The filter envelope and oscillator B can be set up to modulate the frequency or pulse width of oscillator A or the filter. Let's add a bit of filter envelope and set it to control both the filter and the pulse width. This adds some richness to the sound. Now let's add a bit of oscillator B. Now that is a quintessential fat Prophet 5 sound. Next, let's look at the mod wheel section, which scales the LFO modulation of several parameters. <laughs> The pitch modulation gets tiresome, so let's turn it off and just modulate cutoff frequency. Let's add pulse width modulation for both oscillators. Don't forget to turn on the square wave for oscillator B. The Prophet 5 is great not only for analog brass sounds, but also bass. Let's open one now. You will see that this patch uses unison mode, which stacks all 10 oscillators on a single voice along with detuning for an extra fat sound. Okay, let's take that and add some filter envelope. That's a pretty fat bass, but let's crank up the resonance a bit. Oh yeah, let's make it even fatter by adding a bit of oscillator B modulation to the filter. Let's add an oscillator A pulse width and a bit of the noise oscillator for a percussive effect. Okay, maybe a little less noise. Now the VS mode is something altogether different. It recreates the architecture of the unique Prophet VS, which has four digital wavetable oscillators that can be blended in real time using the joystick.
We can switch the wavetables in each oscillator. We just change C. Now let's change D. The VS is particularly good at sounds with a more metallic quality like bells, but with a constantly evolving character. To better understand and explore the VS's vector synthesis architecture, let's open up a template preset. Here we see the four oscillators each using a distinct wavetable. We can blend them using the joystick. A to B to C. That square wave is a little intense. To D and back to A. The first thing we're going to do is shape oscillator C to a wavetable that blends a bit better. We can also change the relative frequencies of each oscillator. Let's set oscillator B to two octaves above. Now in addition to the joystick, we can control the mix of the oscillators using the mixer envelope. Unlike a traditional one-dimensional envelope, the mixer envelope defines the movement between oscillators in two dimensions. We can start moving the points around like this. We can change the relative durations of each segment. The final segment is analogous to a traditional release, so let's increase the release on the amplitude envelope to hear it. Now we can even use one of the two LFOs to control the oscillator mix. Let's bring up the modulation panel and we can set LFO1 to modulate the mix of oscillators B versus D. We can still use the joystick to change the sound even while the envelope and LFO remain active. Now let's take a look at the filter. We'll turn down the envelope so we can use the knobs. I'm going to remove the two octave rise on oscillator B to better blend with the resonance. Yeah, that's nice. Let's switch the filter type to bandpass. The filter can also be modulated. Let's use LFO2, set it to random, and have it modulate filter cutoff.
That's pretty. Okay, so for the remainder of this video, we are going to explore several of the factory presets that come with the Arturia Prophet V.
In part two, we will look at the hybrid mode that combines features of both the Prophet 5 and VS into a single instrument. So please do subscribe to this channel to find out about that and other synthesizer content coming out regularly. To find out about the Prophet V3 and other instruments in Arturia's V collection, please visit Arturia.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.